Hello everyone, welcome to Default Drupal channel. In previous video, we saw about how to import content by using Ember data with migration API, right? Today, we are going to see about how to import content by using CSV file with migration API, okay? So for that, in the same module, I created one CSV file for sample. So uh, let's create a new YML for your migration, okay? migrated underscore it will be csv okay csv dot yml so here i'm going to create a structure to import the migration okay so first you need to mention an id as i already mentioned id should be name of a file so migrate underscore csv and next you need to mention the label it is migrate from CSV file. And next is a uh, source. So source, when you when you come to source, we are going to use source as CSV, right? So for that, you need to enable a module called migrate source CSV, okay? Migrate underscore source source underscore csv so once the module is downloaded go to your extend page and enable that migrate source csv module So that we can use the uh, CSV as a source here, okay? So let it download. Sorry, enable. Let's go to here. And mention, I'm going to mention source plugin as CSV. And path. Path, you need to mention uh, from the uh, command prompt path, okay? So now we are in prod, right? So inside the prod, we have to go to modules, custom, migrator, content, slash, import files, the folder name of the uh, file, and migrate dot CSV file. And next, you need to mention the delimiter of your CSV. So I am using comma as a delimiter. So you have to mention the delimiter here as comma. After that, header offset. Okay. Header offset. So what is header offset is that? So you need to mention whether the CSV contains header or not. So from offset means from zeroth line. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 0 means the first line will be the header for this CSV file. Okay. In the uh, this is a ID, you need to mention the source ID. So this ID should be unique in all. So as like how we mentioned in the Ember data, as like you have to mention it here. After that process. So process we are going to process. So let's copy this and paste it. No need to waste the time. So paste it here. Okay. So we are going to uh, import the same data. Import the data in the same content type. So title. So title is same here and description format. Okay. So description and format. Format field is value also there. Okay. List list is also a b c d okay list is there and next is a, a text format so here we mentioned text format as constant variable right so i'm going to mention you can use constant variable here too so text format list and then uh, um, uuid after that you can give the type Plugin, default, value, so default 
value is migrated content. So instead of giving uh, type in process, instead of giving the type of the bundle in destination, you can give it in a process itself. So next is destination. You need to mention only the node. You no need to mention the bundle there. Okay. So now we uh, successfully created your CSV uh, import file for migration. So next, what we are going to do, we are going to run a command to import it. So let me dis uh, clear the catchy ones. So let's go to the content. And now I'm going to import a CSV file by using this migration ID drush migrate colon import space import migration csv so now you can see six content is created so by using your migration csv file okay there are so the content is imported so let's load it here so you can see all of our content are created right Let's edit the content and see whether the uh, data are imported properly or not. So now you can see all the values are imported, right? You can see full HTML also. And some content will contain the basic HTML. So the text formatted what you uh, mentioned there, that will be imported correctly, okay? So this is how you can import a migration by using your CSV file, okay? And hope everyone likes it. Uh, if you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.